Hello, watchers. So, um, if you're watching this outside of Singapore, then you're probably in a lockdown. And I just want to encourage you to say, hang in there and uh, stay well. So, whereas if you're in Singapore, you, you know that we are applying the new measure known as circuit breakers. So as such, from the 7th of April, uh, coming Tuesday, we will not be having any more classes until the 1st of May, which is Friday. In an effort to keep your physique up and tentatively your skills intact, I thought to come up with a variety of fundamentals uh, training for you to do back home and along with or along the corridors or at the parks. Yeah. So these techniques will used to be the staple of our warm-ups um, back in like 2009, all the way to 17. Um, so we used to do this as warm-up very often. So I thought it would be a good time to re revisit these techniques uh, since they acquire little to no equipment. Yeah, so in the following clip, you're going to see them all. So the first one we're going to talk about is called the quadrupedic movement or QM for short. So be on your all fours, be on your fours, keep your feet together, hands together at one point. When you move, you move opposite hand, opposite leg. So the opposite hand, opposite leg, opposite hand, opposite leg. Yeah, try to just put your hand in front of the other hand, your feet in front of the other feet. Don't try to like reach out too far, just keep it right in front, yeah? Keep your feet together, knees spread to the side, and when you, as you move, move opposite hand over the leg. When you, even when you go backwards, same thing, opposite hand, opposite leg, try to keep your butt down, and then keep your back straight and chest up, alright? So, it's easy for you to find a spot anywhere, uh, try to move on um, from one end to the other this way, yeah? So you can do it in multiple sets and it will help. So the next move I'm going to talk about is called the side sapien and basically you move from one side to the other So from this side, put your palms on the floor You're going to shift one side to the other One leg followed by the other Hands to the side, one leg followed by the other Yeah, as you move backwards yeah, As you move back to your, you do the other side Yeah, so this is your side sapien Followed by now, we're going to talk about the front sapien And what you do is you put your palms on the floor Try to have kind of like a line on the floor, that would be nice yeah, you bend your elbows downwards and then you push with your palm. As you push with your palm, make sure your knees are tucked together. So you bring your feet in between your hands. Yeah, use your palms to push and then back straighten chest up when you're done. Yeah, you can start to scale the degree of doing this by swing with your hands from top to back and then from back to the front, palms on the line and you push. Yeah, and then as you do that, as you scale even further, when you push, you can start from standing up, swing your hands, push, and then throw yourself forward this way. Yeah, remember always push with your hands, don't jump with your legs. Yeah, it's vital that you push with your palms so that as you tuck your knees to your chest, keep your back straighten chest up and strike your legs forward after that. Next move we're gonna talk about is the front rows and the back rows. Yeah, start off with your back row. Now remember keep your feet, keep your feet together. See on one side of your butt where your head tilts to the other side. Keep your hands to your chest. Swipe your feet over your your head, uh, over your head. If you think you're probably probably gonna go over your head, your feet will go to the other side where your head could have been. All right. Swipe. So keep your knees tucked to your chest and try to land to the balls of your feet by tucking your knees close to your chest. Yeah. Once you're able to do a backwards row, then try to let yourself swipe. And then upon touching, you lean forward again into your front row. Yeah. So that should get you your momentum for your front and your back. Then you can start working on your front row, whereby the side that your back is coming down is the side that your leg is in front. Palms on the line, tilt your head to the side where the other leg is lowered. Yeah, pull your face to your hand as close as you can before you throw your back over and lean forward all the way. Yeah, if you have trouble and difficulty getting your front row, what you can do is probably you can like squat down, knees on the floor, hands on the palm, palm on the floor. Yeah, the side that your back is coming down is the side your head is your, your leg hands is gonna open up. Your head will tilt to the other side, and then you'll gradually use your knees to cut, move, start moving forward until you see your feet going over your head, and then get a sense of how it feels like to be in the front row. Alright? So gradually with this you can scale to what we were doing earlier just now. So next we're gonna talk about some unconventional rows, uh, a bit more for the fun side, but also it's good to practice. Yeah, try to find a line on the floor. So you are, you are able to measure how you are doing. Yeah? This is called the butt row. So basically your hand is on the line. Then lean your butt onto the, your hand as close as you can. Swing your feet one followed by the other. So you land back to the line and then push off with the other hand. And then you stand up. Okay? So you do it the other side. It's the same thing as well. Yeah? So you can do it on both sides. So as you go. Alright? And then the other side. Yeah? So this is the butt row, alright? 
Yeah, moving on to the side row. So same thing, find, try to find a line on the floor. That will help give an idea that you're going on a straight line. All right, let your body down as low as you can. Go one side. Okay, as you go the other side, same thing. All right, so this is a, a different variety. So to so get a different sense of how to do different types of row. Okay, moving on. We're going to talk about headstands. Um, so headstand, try to be a bit more careful. You're going to use the forehead. Okay, put your palms on the floor, put your forehead on the floor. You're gonna gradually put your knee on your hand, okay, and then shift to the other side. You get a sense of how this feels like before you try to gradually bring your other feet up, bring your feet up, and straighten out as much as you can. Yeah, at any point once you're uncomfortable, just come back down, the same position. Yeah, and get a sense of how things are like. Yeah? So your head stand. Moving on into your handstands, so what you do is find a, find a wall where you can put your feet on. So as you start, put your palm, open up your palms wide, okay? Let yourself go into one leg followed by the other. Step against the wall and straighten out as much as you can. Try to hold for as long as you can so you can get a sense of how it feels like to be in your headstand, right? You can always come back down to the floor this way. Final move that I want you to try and practice on is called, you know, it's a bit of a cartwheel. So as you start, even if you start this way, try to find a line on the floor. Even if you start off with your hand, your legs this way, that's fine. That's a good, really good progression. So gradually as you begin to go, you want to bring your legs higher and higher. Straighten out as much as you can, yeah? Then gradually you can go into your cartwheel, okay? So these are some progression I thought you guys can work it back at home. So of course, uh, body weight workout helps as well. Um, then there's a variety of you know push-ups that you can do and everything uh, but beyond that also do plenty of stretching and such as in yoga that will certainly help as well uh, please once again limit your ventures outside to the uh, try to be in the confines of your space as our government has have all emphasized yeah stay at home as much as you can yeah if you intend to train your local parks you should too, you could still train and apply the techniques that I've covered before in the classes um, not for yourself, but to protect the community at the large. Ultimately, you know, our words are to be strong and to serve. Yeah? So please sanitize and wipe your training spots when you're done. And as the old parkour saying goes, yeah, leave no trace. Yeah. So contact me if uh, you want to do any online classes. Uh, simply just snap a picture, let me look into it, and I can craft some uh, parkour lesson plans for you. Or let me just look into your technique so I can help you improve from there during this whole period. Yeah, so I'm a man of little talent, but I'm very passionate in what I do, in the field that I have. So hope the above helps, and um, may this pandemic pass very soon. So meanwhile, stay united. Yeah. Hey, 大家好。如果你在看这个录音的话，而你不在新加坡，我看你们应该是在封锁时期，所以在这个时间里，我是想要嗯能够鼓励你们啊，照顾好家人，照顾好自己，然后支撑住，坚强点，然后很快就会熬
。下一个动作叫做 side sipping， 所以你就会从旁边走到向另外一边，所以你先首先手放在地上，然后你就把你的脚双呃 swing 过去，然后从一边到另外一边，如同啊、呃、刚才的攀爬动作一样，你要做数几次都行，所以是一个蛮简单的一个做好动作。下一个我们谈的是叫做 front sipping， 所以你 front sipping， 你先首先把手放在，如果可以的话，创造一个一个线，然后把手放在线上面，然后你用注意要用你的你的肩你的手心出力的推，然后把你的脚放在你的手的中间。下一个动作，你的手就往上，然后从上摇摆到后，然后从后上前推。跟上上一次的一模一样，下一个动作你就从站起，从站起你的手从上摇摆到后到前，然后出力的推，如同前几次的动作一模一样。最主要关键就在在手心，用手心很注力的推，然后把膝盖拉到你的胸，然后从胸挺胸，再推前准备降落。我们接下来要谈的下一个动作是滚，所以从滚我们先从。后滚开始，所以你开始的时候，你先坐下来，坐在一个屁股，那屁股的那个大方向，你的头就有往那个方向割，然后你的脚就会把它甩去你的头的另外一边，所以你出力的甩，然后让你让你的脚降落在地上，记得要把你的膝盖挺胸在你的胸部那，才会紧而快。下来你就试多一次，然后你往后滚了以后，马上就往前滚。这样你就知道向前滚的那个感觉是如何，然后接下来你就蹲下来，那桶脚你那个背要下来那个第那个背那个桶脚就在前面，然后你就把手放在地上，然后你的头记得就转在另外一边，所以那个你你的脚下的那个地方就是你头的地方，然后你就向前滚，然后记得把你的膝膝盖挺在胸那时啊，探身过去。如果刚才那个动作稍微有点难的话，你可以先把膝盖放在地上，呃。那个那个背要往下朝的那个背，手就张开在一边，然后把头挺在另外一边，然后那样你就可以慢慢的向前走，然后把脚翻过去，记得让你的脚看你的脚过你的头，这样就往前呃坦身，直到你的脚降落在地上那时候，记得慢慢训练。下一个滚斗是一个我们比较少用的，但是有点跑完。就是你先记得要拿一个前线，然后把你的手放在前线上，然后就让你的屁股降落在你的手，越靠近越好。然后拿你的脚在你的胸前，然后另外一只手再降落，然后从那你就出力的推，然后就可以让你的脚再站起来。所以这样你可以就从另外一边做，哎，就一模一样。然后记得要做两边。所以你记得那感觉，就对双边都比较通畅，就是这样。下一个动作我们要谈的就是啊、呃，你另外一个翻跟头的方式。所以从这你就有闯过你的呃你的背的上部分，然后降落在地上，然后再试走另外一边。所以让自己熟悉双边，这样的话是另外一个训练的方式。过后我们要谈的，这是一个啊、呃、，head stand， 所以然后你是把手放在地上，让头放在地上也是，然后慢慢把膝盖放在你光头绑上，然后从这你就慢慢的推，用你的脚慢慢向向前直，记得在任何时候你觉得有点不太不太舒服的话，你可以马上把你的脚拖进来，然后让自己在放放放脚在地上。所以这个训练方式让让你可以训练自己的一个平衡，还有你的手力。下一个我们要谈的是 handstand， 所以先找一个墙壁，然后你把你的脚就放，先把手张开，张开你的大你的手，然后把脚踢，然后就把脚放在墙壁上面，慢慢的把两只脚伸直。在这个动作，你可以慢慢开始想感觉一个平衡的观念，然后随和时候你就可以把脚再放下来。最后一个动作，我们要做的是一个小 cut wheel， 所以至少如果你的开始都 cut wheel， 你是这个从脚不不太高的话，这但是翻过去的话，这样就也行。这是一个开始，所以不要不要慌。所以慢慢你在训练的时候，就慢慢把脚开始越来越张开伸直，然后让它越来越离地。
这些训练方式就能够让你掌握你的基础。当然，除了这些训练方式之外，我也鼓励你们使用长期的训练方式，做一些瑜伽、拉伸这类的，来继续的加强自己的身体。当然，以政府所言啊、呃，能够的话就尽量的待在家，不要出去人海人群中。啊、呃，但是如果你想要在外训练的话，我我想要鼓励你带自己的消毒剂，所以你在训练过后能够向那些地方擦一擦，不是为了自己，而是为大众着想。因为你 you know, 像 A two 跑酷，我们所讲的，你要加强自己是为了别人，而且在跑酷呃一个所言，能够的话就不留痕迹。如果你不知道要怎么训练的话，你可以在网上跟我们交流，留个信息，让我能够进一步的看你的技巧和你的技术如何能够再进步，我也能够为你创造一个全新的训练方式，跟随你的四周围。那我的才艺不多，但是我所拥有的。热情爱好，我是尽量的使用与推广，希望提供的能够帮助大家。所以在这艰难时期里，我希望大家能够继续的照顾自己，照顾家人，照顾大群，对抗疫情，保护大家的安全。所以在这段时间，呃，以 A 都跑酷，我要感谢大家的支持，还有在一个月之内就能够继续的看到你们和你们一起训练。再见。